Hey there, welcome to Concept Hunter. If you've been following this show, you know that I like tower platformers. And though this one is pretty simple and pretty short, it is so incredibly highly polished. I played it, I greatly enjoyed it, and I finished it. I decided, hell, I have to show this. Even though there's really not too much here, what it does and the way that it does it, the level of polish and how nicely it... it it has a very subtle little semblance of a story or a point, if you will, is cool. And it, it hangs kind of in the background of the core gameplay, the core very precise, very well done gameplay that you have here. And I, I just wanted to show you this, not for the, the, maybe not for the gameplay, maybe for all the extra that's happened around it, the high level of polish that's here. Uh, you have eight bricks, note that I, I just took one of them out. Uh, I have a normal jump that usually takes me up one platform. I have a double jump, which will usually take me up two platforms. And I just, it's a tower platformer. I have to keep going upwards and reach the ending. There is an ending, so it does get progressively harder and there's an ending, so let's just get started and see how it goes. So again, I could double jump and I can jump once. The walls seem to be closing, but they don't really close down. Uh, sleeps here, an ancient evil, blah, 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 blah. There's the semblance of a story as you can see, of impossible geometry and there's all kinds of stuff. And note that from the bottom, there's, there's if I just stand in place, um, slowly the, the particle effects start building up and eventually the lava will, will come in and consume me. If I fall down, you can see the, the, they're coming in, they're coming in. It's really, really well done, nicely done that being being scared of it so you know you have to keep moving forward and there's lies, oh my god. Uh, kind of this Freemasons, uh, Illuminati, world, ultimate evil kind of feel to it, which is just subtle but well done. And other than that, it's just a tower platformer. There's no tricks or anything. I have a normal jump and a double jump and platforms of roughly a, a specific size, some of them moving, some of them don't, and I just need to get up. There are the lasers, which are very, very, both, the, the feedback is really, really good, both in terms of um, visuals and of sound. The sound is really nice, and as usual, you're not hearing, but the, the sound is actually really, really well done. And there are just pellets, uh, or, or like just squares that come up. You can see that there's more of them, they come in faster. Uh, right now, I'm at the, the stage where there are three, three lasers or three pellets, if you will, bullets that come out of the ground, but now there are already four. Uh, at a time, and there you go. You could see your deaths, which is a nice little thing. You could see how close you were to actually finishing it. There's things like that coming out uh, from time to time to just keep you in track with the feel of the game, with the story, if you will, of the game's setting. And other than that, that's it. There's not much more done here, and it does end. There is an ending, If I, I don't know if I'll manage to, to reach it here um, in this playthrough in order to show you, but I, I might and I might not, but that's kind of all there is to this game. And um, I, I really enjoyed it, so I kind of wish there was more. But in a way, it's fine that there isn't any more, because it is done so well, I wouldn't want to see it ruined by more stuff. And there we go, I did ma manage to, to, to actually make it. Escaped in 118 seconds. You could probably do it in a single run with a single brick, uh, if you will. You have an 8 at the beginning. Uh, 40 seconds or something like that, probably, I, I don't really know. And now there's this little bit of an ending, or a little bit of a reward. Good job! You did it! And a little bit of a message, they're always watching. Uh, you used bricks properly, and it's kind of just to, to give you a sense of, of completion. You are a real mason now. So this is kind of the Freemasons, evil, ultimate evil power and stuff like that. Our mason order is proud, and uh, always watching. That's it. That's the Freemason's mark, if I'm not wrong. I might be wrong. I'm not even sure. But I, I just really like this. It's just really, really well polished. And you should at least just try it for like two seconds. You don't have to finish it. Just to see how everything is incorporated really, really well into it. And it is really the polish that, that I want to, that shines most here. The gameplay is great. I don't really, I'm not sure how you move forward with it because it becomes very, very difficult. The progression is great. But, and you could obviously always add more stuff, more obstacles, but it is complete. It feels well and complete, and I don't really want to see it ruined by more, in a way. Uh, it's kind of like a middle zone of, I want to see more, but I'm, I'm good with it. So I don't, I'm not sure exactly where I want to see this go. Um, but I greatly enjoyed it. It's called You Have Eight Bricks. It's by Rary Koss, if I'm reading his name correctly. And that's it for Concept Partner for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.